It's going to record. You dang right it's being recorded. Hey, everybody. Hey, Ken. I saw the picture of you and your lovely bride out on the town yesterday, but I couldn't make out what that pie was that you had. Well, actually, um, that was a, a, um, a chocolate peanut butter kind of tort. And oh. it's, uh, it was her birthday, so she could have whatever the heck she wanted. And uh, wow. she put the high calorie one next to me, but uh, I know who ate it. And well, that um, looked really good. It did. It was. The other one was a key lime, some French thing. I can't remember. Basically, it was a key lime, key lime uh, pudding kind of thing, light pudding. And it wasn't, well, it tasted good, but it, we expected, uh, well, we didn't know what that stupid word was, but uh, uh, we expected more like something like key lime pie or something like it. It was tasty. That's a very fine restaurant, by the way. Yeah, it, it looked nice. It looked nice. Y'all look like y'all were having a good time, so that's good. So uh, you didn't eat any snails we or nothing. Like, you didn't eat any snails or nothing like that, though, right? Oh no, this was upscale American. I had a uh, uh, oh yeah, this with this wasn't the, this wasn't the French fr place. That's right. No, no. When I said French, I was I cooked French. You know, and there's no French restaurants as far as I know until you get up there close to the Atlanta. You know, that's weird, too, because I watch all the cooking shows, right? And everybody's like, I'm a classically French-trained chef. You know, everybody says that. And then you go, well, there's no French restaurants around. If everybody and the mama's so classically French-trained, then why the devil ain't they open with restaurants? Or maybe that's just in Atlanta. Well, you know, in. But this is Georgia, where the, high, uh, the hot cuisine is barbecue. And then for the Yankees out there, barbecue is not grilling. Barbecue is low smoking. and slow in a low smoke. Low and smoke, yep. And 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 you're cooking pork. Yeah. And it's um, and, and all right, there's few places, if any, that are exceed expectations what you get in Georgia. Very good. Right. Right. Well, anyway, I'm glad y'all had a good time. Um, Dwayne is with us today. Hey, Dwayne. Jim is with us. Um, Premium Seller is with us. Welcome our new. Uh, a new member of the family, premium seller. So that's cool. I don't know whether we should call you premium or Mr. Seller or Mrs. Seller or PS or whatever, but uh, feel free to chime in. It's going to be good. All right, y'all. Well, let's see what's happening in the market. I hadn't. I just rolled out of bed. I did take a shower already, so all's well. Uh, up 27 points in the E-minis. Cool. Up 0.64. So where's Matt at? I wonder if he got to sell his uh, put to do the uh, Black Swan Hedge yesterday or not. It's been a good day, and then the day be up, you know, closer to uh, filling your loan. Let's see how close is my loan to filling. It got up like 255 yesterday, and that's 205, right? So we're getting there. I mean, sometimes it seems like it takes forever for that to fill, to have the Black Swan Hedge, you know, where we need it to be. But uh, we'll buy the five at some point. And yesterday I posted my trades in here. So after we got out of the uh, AIM account, I did my AIM stuff here. Now this is a little different than the other one. The other one I'm doing 75% into the ETLs, right? And in this particular account, I think I've moved it up now to 60% uh, of this account is in AIM and AIM is doing I think it's doing good. Let's see. We got everything grouped real quick. Like I call it Bane. How's our Bane doing? Look at this baby. $414 in a day. Oh yeah. So looks like we made some good adjustments yesterday. And look at the account that will not stop y'all. I, I call this the $300 account right here. It makes $300 every day. $300 every day. Well, now it's making $400 today. Can y'all believe that? We'll show off a little bit in front of premium seller, uh, today who's a canadian by the way so i don't know what that means but so this one's up 432 dollars today it's up seven thousand one hundred sixty seven dollars in two months on a thirty five thousand dollar account i mean this one just will not stop i mean it's just amazing so uh we may do some adjustments in that one it's, look at delta y'all can you get better delta neutral than zero huh ah, zero vegas under control i got me some positive theta i mean look at that I mean, you talk about being Delta neutral. Wow. 
So um, that one's doing good. So let's start as we do every day. We'll quit bragging because when I do that, all oh, Hades broke loose, right? I will never again say, oh, the account is at an all-time high today because we know what that means. Short the market tomorrow, baby, because the crash is coming. All right, so let's see where we're at here, y'all. Please. Negative 13 delta, 84 theta, and positive vega. And Sweet Bobby's up $20 and, well, I'm down $20. Come back up, dang it. There we are. We're up $24. I mean, life is good. Can y'all believe we get to do this? I was in my economics class doing homework yesterday. And um, we're doing, uh, uh, you know, comparative, you know, fixed costs and variable costs, marginal costs, all that kind of stuff. And they're giving these big, like, if company A has the costs of such and such, well, yeah, well, you and I are portfolio managers. You are hedge fund managers, every one of you. If you have an account, you are a hedge fund manager. So you're a portfolio manager. So when Ken is out with his lovely wife to the restaurant and the lady says, uh, excuse me, sir, what do you do? What, 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 what is your occupation? Ken doesn't say, and I'm going to stop doing this too. I'm going to quit saying that I'm retired, right? Because I'm too young to be retired. I'm 50. So I'm going to stop saying that I'm retired. I'm going to start telling people, uh, young lady, young sir, I am engaged in the study of financial markets. And I want you all to do that same thing. So when someone says, hey, what's your side hustle? You say, I don't have a side hustle, but I'll tell you this. I am engaged in the study of the financial markets. And that's what we are. So we are professionals here. We may wear spam hats and we may sit in our underwear when we trade. 51, 601, 53. Oh, crap. But we are professionals, dang it. Huh? That's what we are. Bobby, I've said that all my life. I am engaged in the study of whatever I'm it is. Engaged in the study of. And I'll tell because the story. I'll again. never forget there. Yeah. I'll tell I'll the story again. Yeah, we're engaged, right? We, we never stop learning. Our learning never stops. Now, premium trader or seller who is our latest, look at this, y'all. We've been trading in this account since January, and we are up, y'all, $16.92 on the day. I have made a whopping $40.49. That includes commission and everything. That deserves to have some uh, some moving on up, doesn't it? I mean, I mean, who can do this? Well, we're moving on up. We're moving on up. To the east side. We're moving on up. To the east side. To the east side. I mean, that's pretty good. All right. So <clears throat> I like the pivot that we've made with this account. We've done some dumb things this year. We're overcoming that. You remember the story I told you of uh, Albert Einstein at the cocktail party at the university. Young co-ed, they were sitting there talking around in circles, you know, sharing drinks and everything. Well, not sharing drinks, but they were drinking their little drinks. And uh, the girl looks at Einstein and says, hey, man, uh, what, what do you do for a living? He goes, young lady, I am engaged in the study of physics. And she flippantly looks at him and says, oh, I took that last semester and walks off. That's what the majority of traders think, right? Oh, I know trade, man. I know what I'm doing. Not us. You and I are engaged. We have never reached nirvana. We are constantly striving. We're changing. We're adapting. We're surviving. That's what we're doing. All right, what's our sweet, sweet theta for the day? So our spy beta weighted <coughs> deltas are a little bullish. Now it's flat. 6271 on theta. 6271. 6271. And we've got some sweet positive Vega. Oh yeah. Vega is 4932. Can you imagine that girl? She thought she was smarter than Einstein. Oh, I took I took physics last semester. Yeah, little old gal. Or it could have been a guy. I don't mean to say. Remember, I've tried to find where I heard that story. I, and if y'all can find historical documentation for it, because I use it so much, how much buying power we got left in this little account? I don't think it'll tell me because I've got my stuff hidden. Why do I hide it? Because that little guy from Thinkorswim got on to me. Oh, hey, you might want to change your password there, pal. Tubby. 
All right, so we got, look at this, y'all. We got some money available. We can work. We got eight, six, eight, four, eighty-five. Oh, how much buying power are we using? And you know, here's here's where we made a mistake. I think we put too much into those diagonals. And I've been closing some of those babies. You know, some of them are good, but I had too much on. And, you know, I was putting them on and going, oh my God, it's so it's using no buying power. Well, the reason it was showing no buying power is because that's not the way Thinker Swim looks at them. Now, Tastyworks does use buying power reduction, but it was reducing my cash available by putting those trades on. So we'll lighten those up some. So no adjustment necessary. All right. So I look pretty good. Now, with that said, let's see how everything's doing. First of all, let's go. We've got positive deltas. Okay. Uh you know, we're, we're flat, negative four. So... You're getting more? Oh, yeah. Now, there's Matt Jolly Wally. Matt. Matt, I want you to take your wife out to the Burger King tonight and take that little baby with you. And I want you to fire up on the old... I know you've got Bluetooth in your car or whatever. I want you to fire up some uh, Oak Ridge Boys Sell Away. Oh, my gosh. William Lee Golden singing that just makes me want to just jump in and just sell away my mind on a Friday to, to a warm little place where I can get a little, I don't like pina coladas, but it sounds like a beach drink, right? Now, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, let's see. Let's go to, uh, let's go see how our micros are doing. Anything worth closing? Remember, I told you I was going to loosen up on the micros a little bit. We still like them. Uh-oh, ESPN. Federal Appeals Court upholds conviction of Christian Dawkins. I don't know who that is. All right, so let's go to our micros page. All right. Hey, we got $17.06 we could take off, y'all. I mean, we could we could run it, baby. We could we could close it. So we got one, two, three, four. You know, 1581. I'm uh, I'm I'm loosening my load here, right? Just taking a little bit of those. So I may close my 3710 just for the heck of it. See what that does. ES, <clears throat> not ES, MES. I don't really want to do that. Let me think. Let's just put one on. I don't think I am going to close it. I think I'm going to run about five of them at a time, five or six. I I was running like ten or fifteen of them. I just want to loosen up a little bit. I got seven women on my mind. Four that want to own me, two that want to whatever. One says she's a friend of mine. All right, so where are we going to go? We're going to go closest to 60 days, right? We'll put on one in the 56-day arena. And we'll go down to about a 10 delta. Plus one on. Look at there, y'all. Those are sweet, looking good. I don't want too much risk going into the weekend, but we will sell the 3680. Bring in $17 of credit. Let's see. $36.80 going for $17. And I'm going to be greedy today. I normally haven't been changing these, but I'm going to go for $17 and a quota. $17 and a quarter. $17 and a quarter. Going once, going twice. Cost me $339 in buying power. Bring me $84 into the store. Oh, I was telling you about the economics homework that I'm doing. And, uh, you know, they're talking about variable costs and everything. Can you imagine? We don't have inventory, physical inventory that we have to store. I mean, we've got certainly these positions in. But we don't have office space that we have to rent separately unless you want to be fancy. And why is that not filling? Why the devil is it not? I may have already filled on my Let's see if we filled here. Orders. No, it's still working. Wow, it's going to let me go up above the mid? Well, that's unusual. I say, why won't it let me go up? I want to get, oh, I see. I need to go down, don't I? Gosh, y'all, oh, it's embarrassing. Now we got filled. All right, so we got filled at 17. So let's go put that into our little spreadsheet. Spreadsheet is accountable. If you don't use it, that's fine. So that'll give me one, two, three, four, five in the in my little stash here. So I'm good with that. Five of them. 
I just don't want to get up as big as I was. Uh, they were this has been a great trade for us, uh, but we don't want to test the fate when my assumption for the next week is we're neutral to bearish a little bit. So 36.80 is there. Short put is there. He recommended 10 delta. We went 10 delta. And that is at the 56 day mark. Got in. I did not do one yesterday. It's 421. And we got $17 for it. It was brought in 84 bucks. 17. There we go. There we go. Look at us. Bringing in 83.53. So wheat. All right, now let's go look at our Greeks. We'll see how we're doing now. All right, so Greeky, Greeky, Greeky. Looks. Greeky, Greeky, Greeky. Looks pretty good now, I say. Yeah, we're, you know, right where we need to be. Negative seven points, whatever. Theta's good. Vega's good. Okay. Now, so we put on a trade. So let's kind of look at our groups, see if there's anything we can take off. All right, how's our hedges doing? We'll just kind of check everything, right? It's, a, it's Friday, it's where we check everything. Hedges, here we go. Hedges, how are they looking? Uh, up $67 today. Well, that's kind of cool. And the market's up, and our hedges are up, that's weird. So our income trade should be up. Yep, they're up $113. Okay, Butterfly, 26. Where are you, Butterfly 26? You're down 80 bucks. When do you expire? We got seven days on that one. Okay. Butterfly 30. We're up 55 bucks on that one. Look at that. 61%, y'all. I could close that one, and that would give us a little bit of um, negative delta. If you close a positive delta trade, we could take that. When does that one expire? <coughs> 17 days. And that's only if you needed to, right? I've been letting these things just really go to expiration. Butterfly 27 is up 70 bucks with 10 days to go. So I'm just kind of looking out in the future a little bit to see, you know, should I take risk off the table? Butterfly 33 is flat. Bame is killing it. This one's up 10 bucks. Butterfly 34, 26 days. I don't have anything expiring today in my stuff. 21 days. Ah, sweet. So I don't, it looks like on the butterfly side, nothing that I really need to take. 12 days there. It's down $190. The calendar. Good shimon. Look at that. Down $1,600. Panic, panic. No, we're not panic. How many days we got on this calendar? Calendar trays. Uh, I say, how many days do we have on the? There we go. And eh, we got 12 on the short. We're fine there. No need to panic. Butterfly 29. Look at you. Uh, 14 days. I think I got something expiring Monday. That would be what? Three or four days. Butterfly 31 is 19 days. And a lot of these are profitable, right? You could say, hey, I'll just. Ka-ching, ka-ching. Oh, man. Look, remember, we were down like six, dollars $700 on this one the other day. Now we're down $170. Dang it, we're down $60 on the bell. Go. For those of you in our gold position, it came back. Just got to be patient. All right, BSH Micros. Nothing to see there, I don't think. Let's see. That's a 3.5 in uh, 26, 56 days. I could see if I could fill the five in that one. That give me a little negative delta. Let me see about that. Uh, BSH one up $142. Well, I like it. I like it a lot. BSH two in the micros down a bit. Butterfly 23. This is the one that expires Monday, I bet you. How are we looking? Nope, it's already gone. Look at there. Let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of you. All right. Butterfly 24. That's the one expiring Monday, I bet you. There we go. Three days. Oh my gosh, we're down $230. Down 165 on the day. 
I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's see, what's the overall Greeks on it? Yeah, if I got rid of it, it'd make me really positive Delta, right? No need to get rid of it. Let's keep it in. So you start not worrying about the trees when you look at the forest. All right, BSH micro or micros, yeah, up a little bit. All right, so I need to send this one to my income trades. Move to group, income trades. I say move to group, income trades. There we go, baby. All right, so, <clears throat> so what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We've got some of our diagonal still going. Oh, I was going to tell you what I looked at too. So I've one of our tabs here, y'all, that you probably don't even ever use is realize profit and loss. Let's see, where's it at? Realize returns. Here we go. So this pretty much takes in every trade that we've done, right, and close. So on the year, we've made $8,602.07 in our realized profits. <clears throat> Let's go and look at that. What's it comprised of? Well, we did some ES trades where we showed some puts. We're down 400 there. Look at our micros, y'all. Our micros has been the stuff, right? Our SPX spreads and butterflies has been the stuff. Look at the equities trade, y'all. The stuff, which is a part of the basis trade, right? So we've made 10000 here, but we've lost on the basis $7,571.92. So we're up $602 on commodities, which is gold. We have lost 463 on the VIX hedge. Other trades were up $753. And in total, I realized profits are 8,602. So I look at that and I go, man, a lot of those diagonals that we've done, the loans, you know, we were selling sh shorter dated options to pay for the long ones, but those long ones have really hurt us, you know? <clears throat> and and again, you're down nine thousand dollars though. Uh, I'm down what now? Was aren't you down nine thousand dollars? According to that fellow on, on Facebook. Oh yeah, the fellow on Facebook. Yeah, I'm down nine thousand dollars, right? Yeah. So well, he ain't looking on this page. <laughs> yeah, he's not looking on that page. I mean, if you're looking at realized profits now, yeah, are we down on the open stuff? We're down sixty four hundred right on our open trades. But that's fine because, you know, that's that's our management. That's how we're, we're doing it. I'm real happy with where we're at now. And I am closing some of our diagonal trades. I'm getting my buying power up. I'm trying to do a little more like I'm doing in the other account that's I call the $300 count that's just up every day, right? 385 So we're trying to get in line with that. And um, I have no problem with pivoting. I'm a pivotor. So... What I want to do, let's see how our equities trades are doing today and see if there's any more that we want to get out of on that one. Let's see. So i got to go back over here. Oh, it's going to freeze up on me. Come on, quit freezing. Uh, we need a good freeze every day just to keep us humble. Remember the Mac Davis song? song? Oh, Lord, it's hard to be humble. When you're perfect in every way. Love that. All right, here we go. So let's go to our equities. See if there's anything we can close and do anything good. Well, the good thing is all of our remaining three equities trades, these are positive, right? These are doing what we want them to do uh, to help offset the cost. So we made $232 on Disney. Um, so let's close our Disney trade. <clears throat> and again, Disney's one of those that I would have probably never got in, right? Ever. It's not something that I normally would do. I might just take the whole thing off. But Bobby, you're going to take a loss on the overall trade, I know. Let's see. So we get to close that for 720. Is that right? Seems like a lot. Let's go. What do we sell it for? Current day price, seven fifty. Okay, if we sell it for $9.50 and close it for $7.20. All right. It does seem like a lot, though, doesn't it? I'm going to try $17 because I am a greedy capitalist. Oh, it made me so mad in my economics class. I can tell that my um, professor is a um, bedwetting liberal. 
And that's fine if you want to be a bedwetting liberal, but liberal policies don't work. That's why, you know, you're going to find that everything is just crazy under our current administration. You think the last administration was crazy? Wait to this one. Um, now, we do need Democrats in order to, man, if that's the natural end of me, it looks like we get feeling. What the crap is going on with today? Uh, you need Democrats so that um, you can sh find the difference between them and the conservatives. Now, the Republicans are not the conservatives. Uh, they're, you know, they're conservative in name only, most of them, but they like to spend uh, more money than the, the dang Democrats do. They just do it in different areas. So really, they're all um, looking to maximize themselves. Uh, which, oh, we got filled in. Oh, we did get filled for, no, no, no. What am I doing? 720. What did I just do? Did I sell another ES put? I did, didn't I? What a Dorcas. Yes, I sold two of those. So I'm trying, I'm talking, trying to do this. Okay, here's what I want to do. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm talking too much. Now, this is the one I want to go up. So I'm 7, 15, 20. See if we get filled there. All right, we got filled at 17. I don't trust any of the politicians. <clears throat> so we got filled there at 17. So that gave us a nice little 200 and something dollar profit. 17. Uh, let's close that one out. Another thing you and I got to do is not look at the FOMO. We talk about it so much. Oh, Bobby, people are getting rich on AMC. Yeah, and some people are losing their butts. I don't care about that garbage. That's not my game. It is not my game. I don't care if someone's a millionaire off $25,000. It's not my game. It's not what I do. I am conservative. I've blown out enough counts. Am I doing it again? Oh, heck to the no. Mm -mm. And y'all saying everything we've been through this year. We ain't blown up by now. We're good. We got enough stuff in place that we're not blowing. So we take our $242 profit there. Now, what I want to do is I'm getting out of some of these diagonals. And I don't think I'm going to go as long on some of my diagonals. But I just want to check something for a minute. What's my deltas now? So now I should have a long uh, call out in time in Disney. Let me just see what, what's doing there. Because I may just close it all instead of selling another one. Let me see what my deltas are. Let me see what my deltas are. Oh, oh you're 31 positive, And my Disney is giving me 45 positive. Yeah, I think I will. I think I'm just going to close it. I don't think I want to do Disney anymore. Because I'm, I'm pivoting. I am pivoting. Create closing order. So this is bad, right? Because you're having to sell it. 38. Could I get 50 for it? 55. Let's try it. I'll be a little greedy. 38, 55. Hey, 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 baby. All right, so I'm going to just get out of Disney. I'm pivoting. So let's go back. Let's look at my bases. I'm going to get out of Disney. And I am going to take a loss on it. So I got out at 38.55. 38.55. All right. So that was better than the price it was quoting. So that's pretty good. So we're going to make this red, though, y'all. So it's going to show us where you're having a big loss. So the entire trade was down $521.30. I'm fine with that. So we got out on the 4th. We'll call that other. So I'm glad to be out of Disney, actually. I don't like individual stocks. And you can do any combination of these. It's just that I don't think I have the patience to hang on to these diagonals like I want to. So let's see what our deltas are now. But I think I'm going to keep it on because I like having a couple of those on for hedges. I think I'm going to keep them on in the diamond. 
We've got two in the diamonds now, so let's check this out. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. All right. Now, so let's go back to our equities. All right, equities says we made $165 on that one. Let's ring the register. That's a 347 and a half. Let's take our profit and run in the diamonds. Now, what is diamonds giving me? Let's look at diamonds. Diamonds, look, I mean, it's pretty delta neutral right now, right? So let's close our shorts. 347 and a half. There she is. We'll create a closing order. We'll buy that back. And we'll try to be greedy again. At 61 cents or 62. Let's do 62. Boom, chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka boom. Because that one expires today, right? And jack squat. There we go. 62, baby. So we're out. Let's go record it. Let's take take our money. So we got a two cent price improvement from current price. 0.62 on that one. So we take this out because it slows us down. There we go. We'll create our $168. Now, by closing that Disney trade, though, that really gave me a big negative on the loan option. But I understand what's going uh, going on. We know the game. Not coming to surprise to anybody. I'm freeing up some of my buying power. I'm going to allocate more to AIM. We're going to sell options around it. Like Ken and I were talking about yesterday, you know, one of the best things you can do is do the AIM. And was that 50% price? Do the aim and then just, you know, sell your hedges around it. Sell the black swan hedge or buy the black swan hedge, whatever part of that you're on. All right, so we got that. So let's look at that now. So now, make that green. So let's go to our diamonds now, to our basis tab. Diamond says that we need to take in $252 in credit. Okay, let's see if we can find it. $252 in credits in the diamond. So seven days out, go to where we can sell something for $252. Jeez Louise, that's getting in the money though, isn't it? So let me see what my deltas are. What am I doing? I probably need positive deltas now, don't I? Yeah, my negative 64. Let's go back to the trade page. Probably going to sell the... 348 for 240. Seven days out. 348. Come on, feel me. Let's see more. There we go. 240. All right, so diamonds. Go to the equities tab. And it's going to be diamond. I like them capitalized. One. And we did the control V. What put was it? 348 put. 348 put. That indeed is a short put strategy. Yeah, you guys are hedge fund managers. Hedge fund managers. You manage your own. You can tell people you're a hedge fund manager. Oh, man. Now, some people might shoot you if you tell them you're a hedge fund manager. They'll be like, oh, they're evil. That's evil capitalists. And you say capitalism is one of the most beautiful things on the planet. So what delta was that I sold? 348 was a 60 delta. Tell them about all the wonderful things. Y'all, we wouldn't have cures for so many diseases were it not for capitalism. Capitalism is a wonderful, wonderful economic system. Does it need to be kept in check? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Do we have people capable in this country of keeping it in check? Oh, heck yeah. Do we have politicians capable of keeping it in check? That's the problem. That's the dang problem. All right. 6421, and we sold that for 242. Look at us. All right, now 
All right, we got that. All right, so we got to close this one now. So let's close the 347 on diamonds two. Bring the register on that at 85% profit. So we got to go back to the zero day. Mm -hmm. While everybody else is trading zero day options today, you and I are peaceful, aren't we? Because we got a peaceful, easy feeling. So let's close that one. Create closing order, buy it back at 30 cents. Could I do better? Could I do 29 cents? Can we? Is that possible? Yeah, we should get out of 29. Come on, maybe there we are, out for 29 cents. <clears throat> now, theoretically, that would expire, you know, worthless today if it's out of the money. We don't know, though. So we're going to go ahead and close it at, dang it, 29. Today is hamburger steak night at the Southern Lady. If y'all ever get into town, we'll go to the Southern Lady. Now, provided they got employees that can work, you know, they'll, hopefully they don't get that signal from Deborah Brock. That, oh, we're closed today when nobody's coming into work. Unbelievable. But we're about to do away with all that <clears throat> unemployment stuff. And people are actually going to have to start looking for jobs again. And that's going to wake some people up. When you can't sit and eat your bun buns and watch the guiding light every day, uh -uh. and you got to get out there and hustle. Mm -mm. Because if daddy don't hustle, mama and the babies don't eat. Got to keep mama and the babies fed. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, let's look at our deltas now. So that's our diamond two position. See how our deltas are. That's how we make decisions around here. You hedge fund portfolio managers. Now we've got seven orders already. Look at us. And we're at negative 55. Wow. Yep, so I'm definitely... Selling another one. Let's go back to the spreadsheet. Spreadsheet tells me what to do. Basis. How much have I got to sell in diamonds two? Diamond two, Bob. You only got to bring in two hundred and eight dollars. All right, I can do that. So let's go sell another diamond. Right, trade diamonds. Diamonds are a boy's best friend. All right, here we go. $232 or something. Here we go. 238. I could do that, but I already got one there. So I'll do the 216. So let's sell. Let's right click on that one. 347.5. Copy. And let's sell it and get us some money into the coffers, people. Let's move that up so I'll be greedy. Bulls make money. Bears make money. Hogs get slaughtered. There we go. 220. I remember my mama talking about they ate the hog from the rooter to the tutor. And the last thing that she would get when they was on the hog killing day is the tail. They put the tail in the fire. And oh mama go nuts. If you got the pigtail, I mean you was the stuff, right? She said it was so crispy and so good. It's kind of like a meat skin, I guess, you know, pork skins that we sometimes get. 347.5, put, control V for victory. And uh, I couldn't do it. Mama eats hog feet and all kinds of stuff. Oh, oh, Bubba, you don't like pickled pig's feet? No, Mama, I don't. I'm good. That's probably about like a 55 delta. Right? Seven days out. Uh-oh, someone catch me. I got to call it diamond two, right? It won't keep up with my basis correctly. There we go. So we go six, four, 21. I like what we're doing here. Uh, we sold that one for 220. All right, now I need to go to micros. Remember, I foolishly sold another micro, y'all. What was I thinking? I don't know. We got to put him in. Got to put him in. It was just my mistake. But I could close it, or I could just say, hey, let's just take one for the team. So we're going to take one for the team. I sold the 3680. Oh, man, I got two of them on the same dang strike. I don't like doing that. <clears throat> Seems repetitive to me. 
All right, so let's copy that because that's the same option name. Let's paste him right here. Control V for the Vitamix. That's a short put. Short put. 10 Delta. <clears throat> Six days out. We know the game. 6 4 21. And the great thing is, you can be have another job and be a portfolio manager. Right? You do this. That's why I tried to make this during lunch so that y'all could do this at work or wherever you're at. So we're just managing trades. All right, so we brought in some more premium, y'all. So that looks good. So let's see, did I, I did do my diamond trade. Yep, I sold one, I sold one. So we're good there. So now let's see what our little Greeks are going into the weekend. What's our little Greeks going into the weekend? Look at us. We are short, just a little bit of premium. I mean, just a little bit of deltas. We are positive theta, but not a lot of theta. Oh no, now we're negative on the Vega side, but it's still entirely a manageable amount of Vega. So I kind of like that, going in a little short, going in with not a lot of Vega though. Um, what could I do? Tell you what I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do a broken wing butterfly. Yep, I hate calls. Let's do one on the put side. Let's go to SPX. We've got them all over the place, y'all. These have been great trades for us. The SPX trades and the other stuff has just been doing wonderful. Um, so let's go out. SPX about 29 days, 29, how about 32 days? We got these things all in here. So we'll go out to July 6th, which is my friend Johnny's birthday. I always remember that. And I go to about the 30% probability of being in the money. That's for my little, um, right there. Yeah. So let's sell the 41.25. That's, uh, well, I want to be 10 down though, don't I? So if I could do the 41.30, but I don't have a 40. Crap. All right, see, so you have to come back up here, right? I might could do that. Hey, baby, what's wrong? Can I get you what? Give who a spanking? Why do you need a spanking? Huh? And what you talking about? I went to the neighbors. You went to the neighbors? Yes. You're not supposed to go to the neighbors unless mama tells you. Mom said I gotta get a spanking and I want you from you. You want me to give you the spanking? No, no, no. You tell mama she's gotta give you the spanking. And daddy can't do it today. I'm I'm just it's beyond what I can do. All right, so we're gonna go five points wide on the upside. Can you imagine? I would have never gone up to my daddy and said, Daddy, I'd rather have the spanking from you than mom. I told y'all about that. I told y'all. A mean woman at times. I mean, she can be, boy. Oh, Lord. All right, so here we go. So one, two, one. Oh, I'm bringing in a dollar and five credit. Can we do it? Can we do it? Taking up about $400 of buying power. Beautiful if we get filled there. I like it. Hey, hey, I'm gonna turn that down, baby. Or you will get spanking. Daddy's in the class, okay? Hey, I think we got. Yeah, turn it down big time. Hey, we got field, y'all. Right, so I'm gonna copy the this. I'd have never thought we got field at that dollar. That's a good premium on that. Of course, we had to move up to about the 39 delta, didn't we? All right, so here we go. Let's record that under our credit spreads. And then we'll check what our Greeks are. And then we need to make some changes in the other account. And we're, that's all we're teaching you is portfolio management, y'all. Now you either buy in or you don't buy in. You say, portfolio management, man, Bobby, this just stinks. Or you go, hey, yeah, I like it. It's portfolio management. This account's not up a lot this year, but dang it, we ain't lost a lot, have we? And we know why we're down. We've done stupid stuff, things that I would never have done. Oh, Bobby Genius. All right, so here we go. So we did the 4175, 4170, 4160 puts. That gave us a little positive delta. And our short strike is the 4170. And we'll paste that in there, control V. 
We call this thing a broken wing butterfly. I say we'll call it a broken Actual delta on that one was about a 39, I think, on our short strike. How many days out in time did we go? We went 32. Look at us expanding our horizons. We got, see, we not only have diverse their diversification of strategies, broken wing butterfly short puts, calendars, diagonals, um, black swan hinges, but we also have diversity of strategy. We've got diversity of uh, expirations as well. Got all kind of expirations in this thing, which is really cool. All right, so we brought in a dollar ten. Unbelievable! So that means we got a credit of one hundred dollars and forty-eight cents. One hundred point forty-eight. Hey, how about that? Now let's go look at our Greeks, baby. See how we're looking going into the weekend. I hope we're flat. It's a little short. Look at that negative 12. Look at the theta. That should have given us a little bit of theta. We don't have a lot of theta. That's the problem, though, right? We don't have a lot of theta. But that's fine. We got a lot of buying power going into our, our positions that we got. So I like where we're at. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's go to the other account really quick, like, see what's happening. All right. Where you at, other account? Where are you, baby? There you go. Here you go, little day. Oh, it just keeps going up, y'all. It was 300 and something now. It's almost getting close to five, right? Go figure. All right, so we got negative delta here. We got negative vega a little bit, a little bit of theta. So what am I going to do? I'm going to trade something. So let's trade something to give us a little positive delta. And we got... Uh, Option buying power. Oh no, we got no buying power. Holy shimon. I bet we got something expiring today, don't we? Let's see what we got in the SPX. Might not be much I can do. You know, that's kind of strange though, because I went down in cash, right? I went down from 75% in stocks to, uh, wait a minute, make sure I'm in the right account. Hold on. Positions. Yeah, that's definitely us. That's us. That's us, Bob. All right, so let's go to trade, SPX. Yeah, I got some expiring today, don't I? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I got two things expiring today? What is this? Unbelievable. Is that positions? Jeez Louise. It's on the call side. Oh, wow. Look at that. Price is right at the thing here. What can I close this one for? Now, I'm going to be totally forthcoming on this account. And y'all will say, Bobby, I can't believe that. I'm fixing to tell you something very shocking. So y'all hold y'all yourself. Uh, hey, 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 y'all quit fussing. If you fuss and take it somewhere else. Dang it. Wait a minute, let me clear this. How do I clear everything? I got still I'm still learning on tasty works. So if I go click that one, close it. That one might be doing pretty good. That's why it's up so much, I bet. Uh, Ken, help me. Position, trade. I gotta go here and what are you trying to do there? That's a good question, Ken. I don't know what I'm trying to do. I think I'm trying to close, see what I can close that one for. Let's see if I can find it over here in the order chain. Oh, we go into your positions and click on it. Go to my positions and click on it. So that's probably smart. See? All right, and I'll go to options, take off the stocks. There we go. SPX. Zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero, a zero. All right, let's just see what we close this one for. 42, 20, 20, 20, 20. If, if you group it, it should you, it, it should group them as a series of flies to be easily able to pick out the one you want. Oh, you got it there. 
So it's saying right now that I can close that for a, for a 50 cent. I'm trying to think if I want to. I mean, I don't want price to blow up through here, right? I mean, it's on the call side. So I probably sold that for well over a dollar. I think I may just take my money and run. Buy it back, see if we can buy it back for 50. Give me a little buying power if we can get filled there. All right, let's look at this one. Holy gosh, look at that. That one is really in the money. I think there's nothing to do on that one other than just, let's see if I can bump this one up a little bit. Feel working, working. Let's replace that a little bit. Let's see. Oh, what I was going to tell you on this account, and I know you'll 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 probably not believe it. Okay, I'm out of that. So that gives me a little bit of buying power now, doesn't it? Uh, I am. So now my delta is look went from negative eighty six to um, positive one hundred fifty three. My Vega went down a little bit. My Theta went down certainly from that trade. Okay, I'm fine with that. I mean, there's nothing else to do with the other one. I mean, it's it's uh, it's 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 just gonna have to expire and take max loss on. But it's not that bad, right? Because I'm still killing it here. All right. So what would I probably do? So I've got four hundred dollars in buying power. So I can probably put on one um, broken wing butterfly that will give me probably to go in here. It's funny, in the other account, I was selling the put, and in this one, I'll need to be selling the call, long call butterfly. Give me a little negative deltas. Let's move them down. Down, down, down. I like to go to the 30% probability of being in the money, which would be right there for the short strike. 30, there we go. <clears throat> so 42, 80, 90. Okay, so I got to go. Let me move that one here. And that one here, so I make five wide there and 10 wide on the back side. Everybody see that? Five wide on the front part, 10 wide on the back, bringing in a credit of $1.85, taking $325 of buying power. Boom, chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka boom, boom. Come on. We'll work it a little bit. All right. So y'all see me adjust my account today. It's taking us nearly an hour. Um, any questions that y'all have on any specific positions, anything that you're thinking of doing? Matt, did you get filled yesterday? Uh, did you actually put in your put on your black swan hedge? So I, I did not, um, but I did get filled today on my five longs at the one dollar forty five. Yep, good, good. So, so now doing that, could I just, you know, my first initial five that I bought, could I close those? I mean, just to kind of gain back. I mean, it might be four dollars or five dollars, but absolutely, you could. Yeah, see what because they're credit. like eighty percent loss. Yeah, see what, yeah, you'll get a little bit of credit back. You can absolutely do that. And then, Matt, there's two schools of thought on what you can do now. Some people would say, I automatically fill my loans, so let's go ahead and sell shorts again. What I would do is I would, and especially since we looked at it and we're a little bit bearish now, I would, I would wait for another down move and then sell three more. Okay, so I, I have, here's what I have at the moment. So I'll, close the the five that are 26 days out mm -hmm. and I'll get let's see get a little bit right I think I'll get five dollars or so so that's working now I have my yeah. three that expired that I sold I have, they're at a dollar fifty-five right now, and I have my mine set to close at twenty cents. Yep. So, is that considered my first tranche? Yep, that's your first tranche. 
That's your first official tranche. So you've got a, a complete one black swan hedge. You definitely do. Yes, so my it's 56 days till expiration. Beautiful. The 2550 and 2500. Uh-huh. So 20, 56 days, you say, in the micro. Let's just look at it real quick. Right? So we go, hey, little Emma, yeah. can you turn that down, baby? So let's say 56 days. Six days. Lily. Okay, Lily, turn it down, baby. All right, and what's the strikes again, Matt? 2550 and 2500. 2550. Oh, look, I got the 2550. I could actually uh, almost do that one myself, right? So let's see what it looks like if I go and buy five later. One, two, two, three, four, five. Let's just look at it uh, on the analysis. Right? And the twenty-five fifty, I either close at twenty cents or twenty-one days. Yes. Yes. All right. Let's see what this looks like. How does that not look right? I'm still learning how to use this stupid thing on here. Let's see. So that's just showing the five, isn't it? Okay, so there's the five long puts. Where did my thing go here? But yeah, yeah. So theoretically, though, that this thing, once you do that, will up there in case we get a big crash. And again, I think we still need to look at putting those, you know, at about 28% out of the money instead of looking at $3. I think prices have changed, but I think you're good on that. So you put that trade on for break even or overall credit. Um, that should be a that should be a good trade. Then wait for another down day and sell three more puts. And then, like you say, just wait until you can fill that with buying the uh, five. So that would be great. Um, See, so the cool thing is here. If I could buy those five, looks like it's giving me buying power relief, right? Yeah, it it helped me too. Yeah, let's see if I can get Phil on that, and I'll have a black swan hedge in place in the micros. There. Now, I go to analysis. Unbelievable. Why is it not showing? It? So curve active PLCO, no great default analysis. Let me go to my positions. Trade MES. So I should now have my completed. Let me see. Yep, there we are. Three five. And that gave me a little options buying power relief, right? Because and and theoretically, well not theoretically, but it should have uh, gave me a little negative delta there too. Not a lot. Um, should have released, relieved my vague a little bit and stayed as 54. So I'm, I think I'm good going into the weekend on this account. I'm fine with this. I've got a black swan hedge in place. I need to start looking at those better too. Looks like that's the only expiration that I've got any in. So that's good. Do I have anything in this in ES at all? Let me see. I think I do. No, no ES trades. Okay, good. All right, man, I'm proud of you for uh, filling that in, though, man. That's good. I mean, you know, it's nice to have a, a black swan hedge going into the weekend, right? So if something falls, you're, you're good. You're really good. All right, guys. Well, it's been a good session today. I hope you all have a really good weekend. And, and, you know, be grateful. Just think about how awesome it is that we get to come in here every day and do this. Uh, we're grinding. That's what we're doing. We're grinding. I mean, we ain't grinding in here. I mean, this dang thing up $7,000. I mean, that's just incredible to me. $7,100 in two months. The other one, we're up like $40. That's fine. We've done a lot more work in that account, but we're pivoting. We've got things going, so everything looks good. So y'all have a beautiful weekend. If you have any questions, send them through the uh, uh, Discord, and I will see y'all Monday.